Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on a living dead doll that I just recently got yesterday. And we're going to do that. It's based on the Terrifier. Now I will be getting a mega scale version of this, but it'll be further down the line. Because I think the Terrifier is cool and he's a clown. And I love clowns. Pennywise, I just did, recently did a video showing all three of my Pennywises as they are clowns. I love clowns. I've got a Michael Myers uh, mask coming in. It's uh, vacuum formed. It's the one that um, Michael Myers actually wore in the 2017 or 2007 movie. And that one, I've literally been waiting almost five years for ever since the movie came out. But they only had like one, you know, like mass reproduction of it on eBay, and it was like $250. Like, There's no way I'm going to do that. So uh, apparently. Um, Big Bad Toy Store and Trick or Treat Studios actually got the copyrights to make the mask so and that's what they did so that's actually coming in I just got the, the shipping confirmation on my phone just about five minutes ago so that should be coming in I'm going to be doing a video on that real soon but in the meantime we're going to talk about the box and I'm going to shut the camera down and take him out of the box because it does take a little bit of time to get these guys out of the box I do have a decent collection of um, living dead dolls. Uh, one day I'm just gonna, you know, go in there and probably take a picture or something like that, show you what I got so far. I think the picture would be easier if I did a video on that. It would be over an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, let's get into the actual box art. Now I'm gonna have to lay it on the side because this thing is literally 15 inches tall. Yeah, it's exactly 15 inches tall because. The mega scale versions of the Pennywise, they're the same height as the box, okay? Now the figure in itself is probably, according to this, maybe 12 inches, okay? Could be a little bit bigger, I'm not sure. But we'll have to pull it out of the box. But let's just look at the box art, okay? Okay. I don't know if you can actually see that. If you can, I apologize. Mm -hmm. There's the other side. Seems a little blurry, but it's just me. Okay. And that's the side of the box. Okay. There's a focus on this thing. Okay. I think it's because of the color scheme. It's kind of throwing things off a bit. Alright. Okay, hang on. Something's going on with the focus. Alright. That kind of helps. Okay. The focus was messed up on this, okay. And now you can see the box art. Okay, that's what it looks like on the side. This is a very colorful box for a Terrifier. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like. That's the back of the box, okay. Yeet. Okay. Side of the box. That's what it looks like, okay. Alright. And obviously the front, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera down and get his get his butt out of the box, okay? I will be right back. Okay, we got him out of the box, and surprisingly, they don't tie him up like the uh, full Mezco figures, uh, the, the Mega Scales. They always have like these uh, bendy wires wrapping around their legs and stuff like that. Now, that stuff takes a long time. These are in uh, what is called... Um, these things right here, I don't know what they're called, but they're in like plastic molds. Okay. Okay, it's just plastic molds here, and they have a cover over them. That's pretty much what holds them in. Alright. Get that. Put that there. We're done with that. Okay. The Terrifier. That is Art the Clown, as they call him. Now, there is, in fact, two movies out, and I think they're in the process of doing a third one. Surprisingly, these are kind of like B-rated movies, but they were so well-crafted that people just simply love these movies. And, obviously, uh, I think his name is actually Damien Leone. He's the one that actually does Articon, if that's the same guy. Like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with the movies, but I've seen them. And they're actually surprisingly good movies, okay? But anyway, let's get into this guy here. So you can actually see what he looks like. Okay. Let's get a close-up look at his face. 
Now I will tell you this, this is also a Mexico figure based on um, of the Living Dead dolls. Okay, they got a huge collection of stuff out there. Mezco has got to be absolutely gigantic, just like NECA. Okay. And there's the actual clown uh, suit. Very similar to Pennywise in a way. They got the three buttons and stuff except the color scheme. Alright. Now the bottom of it. Okay, it's got these big shoes. So these are capable of actually standing on their own, but you got to position them right. Okay. Okay. I always wanted uh, Art the Clown. I actually got a um, Trick or Treat Studios mask based on Art the Clown. I'm going to bring that out here once I get done with this here, and I'll show you what it looks like. And like I said, I want I got the um, Mega Scale version. It's sitting in my wish list, so I'm eventually going to get that one too. But their average cost is like $100 a pop. Okay. As you can see, it's a black and white scheme. Okay. Alright, there we go. Articulation. Now, it does come with an accessory. The axe. You gotta squeeze it in this hand, as you can see. Alright. The head. Let's get a close look at that again. Alright, it does move. It's on a ball joint, let's see. You can position them any way you want. Okay, it's got that top hat. Okay. Okay. Uh, arms. They don't bend at the elbows, but they do move at the shoulders. The hands do move. They're very similar to the Mega Scales. Because they're actual dolls. Okay. Right arm. Does, I mean, uh, yeah, the right arm does the same thing. Okay. Hands do move. Okay. The feet. As you can, they're very stiff, so. Very little movements. I would not force it because you can snap these because I don't think they're technically meant to move. They're just meant to stand up, okay? The hips, they do. They're tight too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there you go. That's basically the only articulation in these figures is in the arms and legs, okay? Okay, there we go. We got Mothra fr uh, flying around here somewhere. Keep seeing it every once in a while. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go show you that mask real quick. I got to shut down the camera for that. And then we'll get to take a look at that. And then we'll end this video. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, a little bit of the mask. This is a Trick or Treat Studios version of the mask itself. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Now I haven't actually put this on. I'm sure it'll fit alright because it looks like it's big enough for a big head. Alright. Alright, it's got the molds and everything. Because he literally is wearing like a like a head mask here. And then he makes up his face. Tag. Trick or Treat Studios, okay. Alright, in the back of it. Now technically because these here, you want to stuff them with plastic or styrofoam, not styrofoam, but um, some kind of plastic in order to maintain its shape because after a while uh, it ends up getting creased and drying out if you're not careful with it. So it's always important to stuff these so you get the full potential of the mask. Push out all the wrinkles if you possibly can. And that's what that is. Now the hat. I think that's pretty cool right there, that hat. Now this one I didn't have to stuff because simply because it's it's a thicker mask and it seems to hold its shape quite well. So I just put a coffee container over it and just put it right on the shelf. Okay. He's a teethy little fine. Alright. Like I said, they I think they're coming out with Terrifier 3. Second one was gory as can be, okay? And he still managed to come back. Okay. Which I thought was cool. But anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it on this entire video based on uh, the Terrifier. Now, like I said, further down the line, I will have a Mega Scale based on him. Uh, I think it's in my list, so I'm going to definitely check that out. Once it comes in, we'll do a video on that. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day. Okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe.
and I will see you guys at the next video.